What's up, Skill Fam? Welcome back to another video. Usually I stream, but kind of want to vent. You know, Warzone 2 is my main game, and so far, it's sometimes rocky, sometimes good. Overall, I think most people are just unhappy with the game. And, you know, over the past few months, it's record breaking people leaving and can you play a different game? Hey, can you hop back on Warzone 2? There's some mixed feelings. So I decided to do a deep dive. And the four reasons I did our research, four reasons Warzone 2 is dying. And if it's too late for these updates to bring back everybody. So let's go on ahead. So here are the facts. It came out November 16, and during the first month, it lost 71,000, which is not too much for Warzone, but that's just saying something. This is a peak right here on the on the chart. That's when the game uh, came out, and then it's you can see on the left side of it, left side of the peak, that's like Rebirth Island, right before Warzone 2 came out. And you can see now, moving on to December, it's even doing worse than what Rebirth Island was doing at. And then in December 30th, I lost 727,000. In the first month, 56% of player count loss. That's crazy. I think that was record breaking. And then today, we have 73% uh, player loss. Moving on, here's the first reason why Warzone 2 is dying. <clears throat> it's because there's no content. It just simply, there's no content. There's nothing new. There's nothing refreshing. There's three months. Well, <clears throat> new update comes out February 14. So that'll be three months of the same meta. Like it's a one gun meta. It's been RPK Fennec for three months. <clears throat> Now the problem is they don't do updates enough. And if they do an update, it's it's like scheduled every time, like at a Wednesday or something. Like a Wednesday or a Tuesday night, and there's an update. What if there's a problem? And most of the updates are bug fixes or glitches, screen fear freezes or whatever. But what happens when there's a new bug that comes out Thursday? What do they do? They're just going to leave it. Wait till you're going to hope that they fix it next week on their scheduled update. And if it doesn't come that day, then you got to wait another week. And it's just tiring. And that's what's driving people away. Uh -uh, so... Bugs and glitches, obviously, if they're not giving updates, those bugs and glitches are just going to stay in there for a week. And a week is a long time if you're a casual player, just playing for four hours anytime you can after work or something. Or if you're a fucking grinder, grinding eight hours or something, those shits are going to affect you. It's going to feel like a long time. A week can lose so many players during that whole week. No content. And for creators, for content creators for the game, there's nothing. I seen swag, Nick Merckx, Tim the Tatman, they courage get off. They can't produce content on this game. The only thing they got going on is nukes. Previous ten streams is just nuke. Getting Nick Merckx a nuke failed the first time, failed the second time, failed the third time. Getting Finally getting Nick Merckx a nuke. So it's just everything is nuke. When people are going for the nuke, they had to swap out people. Oh, let's get a nuke with this squad. Oh, we got a nuke so many times. Let's uh let's do it with this gun. No bullets. It's only nuke. That's the only thing they got going on. That's the first big reason is this content. Alright, moving on to the second reason. We got Part of the first one, there's too many bugs. And you gotta go deep dive into the bugs. Bugs, sorry, can't talk. 
Um, but yeah, how many times we're gonna get a dev error? This game is weirdly unoptimized. I saw a video of Crim6, Call of Duty Pro, going into the settings and saying that if you put your texture resolution on high, you will get more FPS, which should be the opposite. If you put your textures on low, you should get more FPS, but you get less. It just doesn't make sense. All the crashes, all the freezes. Like, how do you release a game? And my big issue is the socials are broken. If I'm playing with you guys, that's like one of my main things I play with you guys in chat. Like, it takes an arm and a leg just for you guys to hop on. It's like socials are broken. I go in to invite somebody, kicks me out countless times. It still does it. it still does it. Audio issues that could be with just game chat in general, uh, movement, footsteps. There's just so many audio issues that people have cons created conspiracies just on uh, skill based footsteps. Like, you'll get more footstep audio with less skilled players. And you'll get less footstep audio with more skilled players. I don't know. Visual bugs. It hasn't really happened to me, but... Well, actually, yeah. I've been under the map a few times. Uh, people have seen rainbows all over the screen. And then teleporting, which happened to me, like, maybe three streams. I've just been teleporting back and forth. I'm fucking parachuting, I'm on the ground. I'm back at parachuting, I'm on the ground. I'm in the gulag, in the gas parachuting, back on the ground. Now, here's a here's a funny clip. I think this was... You. I'm with this you. is a uh, symphony. I can't really see the mini map. Zone's coming, zone's and coming, he, we gotta get up to the right. He went, right he went right inside right of a backpack. Uh, right, yeah. And, then, and uh, just got teleported to the gulag while in gas. I can come to you. Just stay on that side. Stay on that side. And he just died. I'm getting lit up. Just keep his. That's fucking crazy. So yeah, too many bugs. That's the second reason. And in these reasons, there's like a hundred reasons. So there's bugs. There's like a hundred different types of bugs. And moving on to the third one, I'm a streamer. I'm trying to do a content video, but I'm moving on quickly. So uh, it just does it. At the end of the day, this game just doesn't make sense. It feels like 10 steps backwards. Like, obviously, one issue is, um, is the fucking gas mess. Right? I said the gulag. Uh, the gas mask. How in Warzone 1, right? You put on the gas mask if you're in the gas and you're trying to shoot somebody, you get you run out of the gas. You're trying to shoot them, well, you gotta take out your gas mask first, and then you can shoot. You're in the gas, you're trying to shoot, you're gonna put your gun away, you're gonna put on your gas mask. The animation, everybody hated it, right? Because they got you killed now. But in Warzone 1, I think it took six months. They fixed it. So you can toggle it. And if you're aiming in, then it throws on your gas mask. Or it doesn't. Um, as long as you're aiming in. If you're if you're uh, not ADSing, then it'll put it on. So they fixed it. Alright, a new game comes out. They revert back to the gas mask. So... There was a problem. You guys fixed it. New game comes out. They go back to how things were. Just doesn't make sense. Like they didn't learn the first time. And then uh, Gulag. That was what they were. That's something that it was unique for them. It blew up. It was such a great idea. You know what? Let's fuck shit up. Let's add a 2v2. Uh, make it RNG based and let's add a jeller in there as well 
Um, I don't really care for the 2v2 because um, it's super RNG, but I'm able to get like a sometimes I'm able to get both, which makes me happy. But that's not for everyone. You could have an AFK teammate and you'll be up against a 1v2. So you like almost die. Jeller can only go after one person. So what if it goes after you? It's just kind of unfair. Here's um, and the big thing is that they're not even listening to their content creators. It was a big thing. There was a, I saw a podcast repulse, not a podcast, but they were speaking. It was repulse and super ev, which are say call of duty, whatever Warzone pros, right? And Repulse is a Call of Duty partner. Tim the Tatman's a Call of Duty partner. Now these guys are in these meetings. They're talking to the devs. They're pitching their ideas. And the devs don't care. They don't care. Here's a clip I clipped of Tim the Tatman talking I about the gulag. The gulag where it's mano y mano. You get it the same gun as me. And you have a chance and it's just 1v1 and whoever's better uh, comes out of the gulag, right? And I'll never forget, I'll never forget the comment that was made to me. I, I won't say by who, but they, they, they go, oh, you don't like RNG in battle royales? That kind of, that like kind of tilted me a little bit, a little bit, because like, it, like they're missing the point, right? I'm not gonna say who it was, but it's like, they're missing the point. I said the gulag, were so this was this idea was pitched at was it called Call of Duty Next? Or Tim the Tatman just said the 2v2 gulag. He he's not a fan of it, right? 1v1 is like whoever has better skills can come out. You don't have to deal with all these variables. Somebody FK, the jailer. Um yeah, 2v1 situations. So he pitched the idea. Repulse pitched ideas and they hit them back with, Oh, you don't like RNG in Battle Royales? And then Tim the Tatman says they're missing the point. And this is Call of Duty partner. He's con consistently bringing 30k viewers onto Warzone. And you're not even going to listen to the guy which has a whole community that can back them up as well. That's crazy. And then there was a recent uh, meeting Repulse was talking about. He got into the meeting with a few content creators, a few developers, and the developers only spoke about DMZ. They put all their efforts into DMZ. There was nothing new in Warzone at all. Um... Let's see. So they're going backwards. Nobody complained at all about running with plates. They take it out. And no one, everyone loves loadouts. Another unique thing. You got the gulag. You got loadouts. Um, many buy stations. Now nobody argued about running with plates. They take it out. Nobody argued about loadouts. Oh, loadouts? Mm, I don't want my loadout. Like, make it more expensive. Um, make it towards the second to last circle. Like, just doesn't make sense. The bag system, which was okay, you got to get used to it, but you just die sometimes inside of a bag. I, you, over the times I got quicker with this, so it's whatever. But you can still die. The bags were just horrible. Buy stations, horrible. When the game launched, there was there wasn't enough buy stations. Now, I think for like three days, or for a week, they put more buy stations in different locations, and then they took them out for some reason. Makes no sense again. I don't. They had a reason actually why they put less buy stations, but overall, it's stupid. Loadouts. Uh, um. So loadouts, they put it like second to last circle and then everyone complained about it. 
Like imagine going top 15 and you still haven't got your loadout. So they put it back to the second circle. It's like, like nobody asked, but you're just reverting back to Warzone one ways. Doesn't make sense. Buy stations was easy, simple. You click on a buy station and it's just one area. Now you got to go on a buy station. There's two areas. You click in that area, you go through the whole area, got to back out, go to the other area, which is your guns and equipment. And it's RNG. So you know what? This person could get a UAV. This person could not, even though they have the same money. This person can buy a three plate. This person can buy a smoke grenade. So random. Doesn't make sense. That was the third reason they're just losing so many people. And my fourth reason is the skill gap. It's the skill gap. It's the competitiveness in the game. If you are competitive, there is absolutely no way you can get better. There's no way to outmaneuver someone. There's nothing, no game mechanics that you can learn for you to outplay somebody. You can kill 20 people, but this guy hiding in the corner with the zero movement feature is just going to kill you because you decide to push a team and you can't, maybe you get Claymore and you can't play and run. So you're just going to die. That brings it into TTK. Now, there was Warzone 1 has slide canceling, bunny hopping, and a shorter TTK. A slower TTK. And this game, the TTK is way too fast. So the AI can kill you. A bot can kill you. And I mean a bot as in a player. An actual player that's a bot. It's just going to kill you because any gun is just, the like TTK is too fast. And if the TTK is too fast, and there's only a one gun meta that we talked about in the first reason, you're going to use less guns. And that ties into skill-based matchmaking. The last reason, skill-based matchmaking is just, obviously, if you don't know it, if you're a skilled player, you get in a lobby of other skilled players. If you're a less skilled player, you get in a lobby of less skilled players. And if you're a content creator, you're going to have to use a meta every single time because it's safe. You want to use a different gun, you know, just kind of see what this gun is about. You're going to get shit on by RPK, by Fennec, because it absolutely destroys Hence the one gun meta. So there's what 60 guns in the game, up to 60, 54, up to 60 guns in the game. You're only using one. The skill based matchmaking is way too strong. You can uh, do content videos, you can't do one gun chess challenges because it's just not fun. That's why people are leaving. They're just not having fun with the game. And I think that's it. I think those are my top four reasons. If I missed any, please let me know in the comments. I'm a streamer, so I usually engage with you guys. So this is weird, but engage with me in the comments. If you got this far, I appreciate you. Hit the like button if you learned anything new. Let me move my face. Now, the last slide I have is, is it too late? You guys know that. Hmm. Move my face. This is what they announced. So season two got delayed to February 15. It was supposed to come out February 1st. And they're making several changes. Uh, it's going to be the return of Resurgence map, which it took you 73% of your player count to go down to know that 
you should come out with a resurgence map. Um, what else? Updates to the Gulag. People told you in Call of Duty Next that 2v2 is cool, but it's, it's just not, it's not it at the end, end of the day. No one complained about the Gulag. So you guys are going to revert back to the old Gulag on February 15th. It took you six months since Call of Duty Next, and it took you three months for the game to come out to realize that. Um, hmm. Looting, they're going to revert back to the Warzone 1 looting, which is there's no backpacks and everything just falls on the floor just like it would if you opened a chest. And the loadouts. <clears throat> Wait, what was the loadouts? They're probably going to reduce the price. And... Damn, what was the changes to loadouts? Oh, loadouts. You're finally going to be able to pick your perks. Who could fuck? Who the fuck complained about? I hate who who gave that idea. I hate having to pick my perks. This recent update in January, <clears throat> this game came out in November. Perks were broken. Perks didn't work. Ghost didn't work. Bird's eye worked for a little bit and then it stopped working and then it just went back to working. The perks weren't working at all. Cold blooded wasn't working. <clears throat> it took two and a half months. And oh, Repulse, he he mentioned to the developers, you guys know the perks don't work and they had no clue. That's why they fixed it. Um, But a lot of the content creators aren't, I wouldn't say they're scared, but they're not speaking their mind as much. Or maybe they're scared, I don't know. Because... Uh, Repulse, hence I, I watched a couple videos, Tim Tam and Repulse. So those are the two I'm getting from. And he said that none, nobody was speaking up. There was a handful of content creators. There was a handful that got invited that didn't show up, but will probably still complain about the game, but won't pitch their ideas. So, and the content creators that were there, let's say Dalek JD or something like that, are focused on DMZ and so are the developers and ranked is coming ranked play is also back and coming to Modern Warfare 2 now this isn't steps forward so I think it might be too late this is steps there were they went 10 steps backwards with Warzone 2 now they're taking five steps forward but they're still Five steps backwards. Quick mats. <clears throat> um, rank plays, yeah. Rank plays coming back. Like, they always do that. They're always doing the same thing. Like, everyone is praising. Yeah, so bring it back to 1v1 Gulag. We're gonna praise that. We're still gonna play it, though. I'm still gonna play it, but... They're just not moving forward. Now, this might be this. I'm gonna close it off with this. This might be the a bad opinion, but I think they need something new, something fresh, like jetpacks or something, boosters or just something different. It's just Call of Duty has been different, but these last three, they've just been rinse and repeat. And then you're just proving it here. Their goal for this game was to cater to bots, pretty much. Because it's a free game, and Call of Duty is learned from Warzone 1 that most of the money they're coming in that made them a billion dollar company is through the bundles. These bundles are ass in Warzone 2 as well. Um, and they know that if they could keep the average guy, casual player on and make him happy and cater to his needs, he can buy a $5 bundle because he's going to enjoy the game. 
And that's pretty much it. I'm going to close it off there. Thank you for hearing my little rant. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow's stream. Don't miss it. We can talk about it more there. Um, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.